Now we're going to be looking at the highest common factor. Now highest common factor is exactly as the name insists, it's the highest common factor of different numbers. Okay, that's all you need to know. So I've given you an example over here. I've put down the factors of 18, so I've broke down 18 into its prime factors, like that. So 18, I know that it's 2 times 3 times 3. Now if you're not really good at doing this guys, you might want to use a tree. So I put 18 on the top, and I put two branches, and then I try to put down my prime numbers, prime factors down my left hand side just to keep it all together. So I liked what goes into 18, it can be 2 or 3, those are the prime numbers, right? I'll just start with 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And then 9, I know that it's 3 times 3. So we always look at the outermost numbers on the left. So these numbers. So I know that 18 is 2 times 3 times 3, and that's how I get those. Okay, that's, that's all you need to do. So trying to utilize the tree. So we keep going until we can stop. Now 24 is similar method. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I did the exact same thing. You might want to try that with the tree if you're not sure. Okay, so I've broke it down into my prime factors, and once I've done that, I find what's common. Now, I can see that 2 is common, these two are common, and a 3 is also common. So I can say that 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is common for both. Now I can't add an extra 3 because there's only one 3 here, and I can't add an extra 2 because there's only one 2 here. So you just circle what's common for both cases, and the highest common factor. That is the highest common factor. Whatever's common, circle it all, and that's the highest common factor. So 2 times 3 is the highest common factor, and you can simplify that by getting 6. Okay, so 6 would be the highest common factor. So question 1, find the highest common factor of 12 and 16. I'm going to do the exact same thing as before. I'm going to first find the common, f um, sorry, the factors of these individual ones, so the prime factors. So the 12, I know it's 2 times 2 times 3. Again, you can just use the tree, guys. 12 goes into 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so it's 2 times 2 times 3. We always look at the outermost left-hand side numbers, so 2 times 2 times 3. And try the same thing for 16 if you're not really confident. Try the same tree method I did. It should be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Just broke it down into my prime factors. So now, guys, can you spot what's same, what's common for both? I can see that 2 times 2 is also in 16 and 12, so they're both common, 2 and 2. But I can't add an extra 2 because there's only lot, two lots of 2's here. And I can't add a 3 because there's no 3's here. So only those 2 times 2 makes the highest common factor. So 2 times 2, which equals to 4. So just simplify that at the end. Question 2. Find the highest common factor of 75 and 50. Now guys, you do the exact same thing, for 75 it's 3 times 5 times 5, and 50 is 2 times 5 times 5, and probably you can see that what's the same, 5 times 5 and 5 times 5 are both in 75 and 50, isn't it? So 5 times 5 is the highest common factor, simplify it, it becomes 25, that is it. Question 3. Find the highest common factor of 18, 24, and 36. So this time there's three numbers, but don't worry guys, do it the exact same method. We're gonna find the common factors for both, for all three numbers. So, first of all, let's put the factors of 18, the prime factors. So it's two times three times three. 24 is two times two times two times three. And 36 is two times two times three times three. So, now we have to find what's common for all three. 2 times 3, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is common in all three factors, is in all three numbers. Now we can't put extra 2s or 3s because we only have to find the, right, the same factors in the right amounts. So we can't have more in one and less than in the other. It must be exactly same and exactly same quantities as well. So 2 times 3 is the highest common factor. It's 6. Just make sure you simplify it at the end. And that is it guys. So when you're finding the highest common factor, as the largest the numbers get bigger, trying to utilize the tree method that I've introduced is always very helpful. So that was the highest common factor.